Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part 3 of my Anacubic Predator. This is most likely going to be the final video on upgrades. I'm actually quite happy with how the printer is working right now. And I am eventually going to be designing a version 2 of my DIY Phoenix Delta. So it doesn't make sense for me to spend a whole lot of time in modding the rest of this printer if I'm just going to end up selling it in the future. So, like I say, I am quite happy with how it prints right now. The SKR2 board, I think, is the perfect board for a Delta like this. Being it does use 3-pin end stops, and a lot of Deltas use optical end stops, which require 3 wires. So, that's very, very handy. The board's nice and compact. It fits in here perfectly. I have changed uh, the theme of my Cura. So I can upload directly to this printer from Cura. I just click the slice button and I click upload to Moonraker and automatically the file shows up on the printer and I can start printing. So it really, really helps the workflow um, with being able to do that. And that's a nice advantage of putting Clipper on this machine. I don't have to constantly take an SD card out and put it in here and all that kind of stuff. So that's really, really handy. Um, the effector here turned out quite well. I'm actually very happy with it. The Sailfin extruder is working really, really nice. I just printed out these parts really quick in a PTG. I am going to be printing them out in ABS once my Bamboo Labs X1 printer shows up. Just because they do have a little bit of flex into the parts and I want to make sure everything's perfect before I... Uh, kind of tidy up all the wiring and things like that. I'm not going to be running input shaper yet until I get the ABS parts just to make sure everything's as rigid as it can be. I did luck out the LDO NEMA 14 motor had a long enough stepper wire to go up to the board so I didn't have to cut or splice anything which was really really great. It seems like I have much better part cooling as well um, with this effector. I don't know if that's the better ducts or just Clipper is controlling the fans much better. So I have noticed uh, much better uh, part cooling. The heated bed does fully function. I am just printing on painter's tape because I have to degrease the, the mirror and make sure it's spotless before I start printing on the glass. Maybe the one mod I might do is I might get a PT, uh, PI magnetic build surface for this. This is how my printer came. Um, the Anycubic Ultra Base was shattered. So the previous owner just put a mirror on here, which works just fine. The end stop seem to be accurate enough. Uh, my first layers are quite nice. So the stock end stop is, is pretty good. Here's kind of a, a quick view on print quality here. So on the left hand side is Clipper. This is the same G code. And then on the right hand side, you can see there was a lot of issues with part cooling, uh, that type of thing. I don't know if, like, I, I kind of suspect that the previous owner changed the thermistor on the original hot end, and I don't think the firmware knew what the thermistor was, so it was definitely way too hot or something like that. So it was just nice to start from a nice base that I knew. That's why I went with a Rapido. I knew what thermistor comes with the Rapido, and I get much faster heating with a Rapido, and it's all kind of a nice all-in-one package, so... You could go ahead and replace the V-wheels with linear rails. That'd be a really nice mod. And then switch out these arms for magball arms. But again, this printer does print quite well right now. And I'm, I'm very happy with it so far. And I, I am likely going to be selling this printer in the future sometime. Just to clear up space, that type of thing. So it doesn't make sense for me to go any further with this printer. Um, I'm already really happy with it and it does print quite well so far. So I will try to add the uh, remix on Thingiverse for this effector just in case anyone wants a Rapido version of this. And um, if anyone has any comments or questions, feel free to uh, comment below. And uh, again, thanks for everyone who's watching and I really appreciate all the Patreons, subscribers that I have and we're well over 1,100 subscribers now, which is really just awesome. I can't believe it. Um, feel free to join my Discord. We have a really great community on there. A lot of information on Deltas. We're trying to bring uh, Deltas back. So thanks again, everyone.